uh, there's no present time yet for yesterday last year, but very well into this week, good news can happen. So we're sitting in the time. Yeah. Are we ready to show you? Yes, we okay, are. good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year. If you're able, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Well, good morning, gentlemen, and uh, happy new year. Uh, we'll start off with what we closed with last year, about uh, five days ago, where we thanked uh, Commissioner Jelinski for his year serving as the chair here for the Morrison County Board. And our first order of business today is to elect a new chair and vice uh, for the Morrison County Board. So at this time, I will take a, a nomination. I would look for nominations for the chair of the Morrison County Board. Mayor, oh, go ahead. No, please go ahead. Mike. Make a motion to appoint uh, Commissioner Winter. Thank you. No, no, um, no motion is necessary, but we'll take the nomination for Commissioner Winter as the Morrison County Chair. Are there? And I'll ask three times. Are there any other nominations? And the third time, are there any other nominations? Okay. With that, I would ask for a motion to close nominations and cast a unanimous ballot for Commissioner Randy Winter to serve as the Morrison County Board Chair. So moved. Second. And a motion by Commissioner Blaine and a second by Commissioner Lemire. All in favor say aye. Aye. And that passes. Congratulations, Mr. Chair. Thank you, gentlemen. And the next act order here or action is a, a selection of the Vice Chair for the Morrison County Board. So once again, I'll look for a nomination for a Vice Chair for the Morrison County Board. I would nominate Commissioner Mike Lemire is the vice chair. Thank you, Commissioner Blaine. Received the nomination for Commissioner Lemire to serve as the vice. I'll ask two more times. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Thank you, gentlemen. At this time, I'd ask for a motion to close nominations and cast a unanimous ballot for Commissioner Lemire to serve as the vice chair for the Morrison County Board. Thank you, Commissioner Casper. Is there a second? Second. Right. Commissioner Winter, thank you. All in favor say aye. Aye. And that motion passes as well. That concludes my work to kick things off. I'll give it to the chair. Thank you very much. So again, appreciate everyone that's here. We'll move on with our agenda. Uh, do we have any additions or deletions? Yes, we do. And those would be? We have added under number eight, an item under the consent agenda. And that item would be? Approved 2024 annual establishment license for Lucky Silver. Gentlemen, I'll ask for a motion for the addition to the deletion of the. So moved, Mr. Chairman. I have a motion. Second. I got a second. Those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All right. Matt, I'm going to turn it over to you. And play. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I would uh, call Nathan forward uh, with Shannon, please. And uh, not a new employee, but a new role for Morrison County and, and, and a supervisory role. So I ask uh, Nate to, to come in and make the announcement. Morning. Good morning. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations. We have many good years. You'll do a fine job, there's no doubt. I know. Three of those students are hard to fill, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> As I mentioned, an internal uh, promotion uh, from within the county. So, um, has spent a year and a half or so in, in that department or office support uh, for HHS. So, she's done the work and now she'll supervise the work. So, thank you very much, Shannon. Thank, thank you. you. Hope it goes well. Thank you. I'd invite Tony to come forward with two of our new correctional officers. Morning. Morning. 
So I'll introduce the two new hires, uh, Abby Stevens. She's full time as a correctional officer. She's from, well, Piers and Foley area. Um, Grace, we actually hired her about a year ago, but she had a military uh, commitment. She has a public goal, and so she just started recently part time. Um, yeah, Grace Sullivan, uh, Morrison County resident. Welcome. Welcome. Excellent. Fantastic. Thank you for stepping up. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome. Stay safe. You bet. You bless you. Mr. Chair, I'll keep rolling here if, if you want. Please. Um, gentlemen, the next series of resolutions to come before you are a series of our annual resolutions. Uh, the first uh, that we'll discuss is the travel policy. This policy is uh, no change from last year. It um, directs what travel is authorized um, by not only the members of the of the board, but also your department heads uh, with board approval. I would look for a motion. Motion to approve, Mr. Chair. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, the next item is a committee meeting attendance payments for citizens. These are our, our members that, that sit on the um, various, well, the first is the, the Board of Adjustment and Planning Commission and then all other boards. Um, again, this is no change uh, from last year. I'll ask a motion to approve. I'll move on that, Mr. Chair. Thank you, I need a second. Second. Any more discussion? If not, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, the next one is the, I'll get on top here. So this is about our open meeting and how we conduct meetings here, public meeting notice uh, resolution. What I'll tell you is this resolution is compliant with Minnesota state statute, but it just describes to our residents uh, when we conduct our meetings and that they'll be conducted in accordance with Minnesota state statute 13D. So Mr. Chair. I have a motion, I need second. a second. Any more discussion? If not, those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Was that uh, Commissioner Blaine that second that? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Mr. Chair, the next item is uh, the code of conduct uh, that I believe was developed with the county board. Again, it hasn't been changed from last year, but there are five items here. Respect uh, the dignity of all individuals, respect one another's facts, opinions, and right to speak, refrain from using profane, threatening, or abusive language, Treat people with respect, dignity, and all interactions related to county government, and allow citizen staff or colleagues sufficient opportunity to present their views in a respectful, tolerant, and attentive manner. Motion to approve, Mr. Chair. I have a motion on the code of conduct. I need a second. I'd second it. I got a second. Any more discussion? If not. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The next is a, a series of or or all of the different committee members listed um, what is displayed in front of you uh, there's two significant changes of what you see one is uh, the replacement of brad bold with uh, nathan bertram as as a, as a new hire last year um, this captures that change the second is uh, the great river regional library committee assignment was was uh, Commissioner Winter was removed, Commissioner uh, Casper was added. And then um, based on discussion this morning, um, if <coughs> land services does not does not require the ex officio on the planning commission, uh, we'll be removing uh, the two board members from, from that committee as well. If I may, uh, gentlemen, this also includes the Board of Adjustment, which I remember was someone sitting there, but that is part of that. Okay, I'll ask for a motion for the citizen staff committee appointments. So moved, Mr. I Chair. have a motion. I need a second. Second. All right. Any more discussion? If not, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The next item is the county board mileage reimbursement. Uh, what this lays out are the events that are eligible for mileage reimbursement, as well as some examples of what is not allowed for mileage reimbursement uh, for the county board members. This is also in accordance with state statute. No, second. All right, I have a motion and a second on the county board mileage. Any more discussion? Yes, sure. Go ahead, Commissioner Lemire. Commissioner Jones pointed this out that under myself and um, 
uh, Commissioner Casper that and we have a planning commission on that. We don't sit on that. Eliminate that if you'd like. And, and again, if I may, I believe we just removed all of them from our last motion for under the citizens committee, but now I'm going to bring. We're going to bring back here because we kind of jumped over the uh, uh, county board appointments. So I'm going to bring that back in with the citizens. So then we will address what you yes. Next step. We're, we're, cause we're, because we're, we're under consideration of the mileage. Correct. Revolution. Yep. We're both. Yeah, we so will come back. I'll come back to that. You, gotcha. Okay, so we're under the county board right. mileage. Well, that's fine. I asked the same question, Commissioner Lamar. So, so I have a motion and a second under the county board mileage. Any more discussion? If not, those in favor. Aye. Aye. Well, I need one more. Aye. One more time. Aye. 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 All right. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. That motion carries. Now I'd like to jump back. Uh, to the county board appointments, because that was probably part of the citizen staff community. From, but now that's where we need to address what we have here in front of you, gentlemen. So moved. All right. Any more discussion? Now, Commissioner Lemire, you brought up uh, the appointment for the planning commission. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. Okay. And at this time. I believe we discussed also if there's anything that may want to be considered if you want to give up an appointment, go to a different type. I know uh, Commissioner Casper is uh, going to be taking Great River Regional Library over in my step because of the fact that uh, I'm not going to be on that committee anymore. But uh, does anybody have anything here? Again, it's not that you don't like the committee or not. You know, maybe you're just too busy in those things. So if we want to discuss. I know Commissioner Casper, I told him I take the uh, airport commission over, but he said he'd like to keep that one. So we're fine there too. So anything else there? Commissioner Jelinski, are you good? I'm fine. Casper, are you? Yeah, Mr. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so I was just going to ask, what date is that? Is that usually a Thursday, the Great River? Great River is on a Tuesday night. On a Tuesday so night. So it's usually the third Tuesday of every month. But they have this usually they start at five o'clock. So you sometimes it'll get in, you know, if you attend the planning commission at night, it'll get in the way. You'll have to decide from there which one you want to choose from. Thank you. Any more, Mr. Commissioner Blaine? I'm fine with things. Okay. Sir. All good here. All right. I'm all good. You got all the good notes. I'll I'll second uh, Commissioner Lemire's motion All to right. approve this uh, appointments. Okay. Any more discussion? If not, we have a motion a second for county board appointments. Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And our last item for our annual resolutions and appointments on the agenda is to set the annual salary for our three elected officials. Uh, the county attorney, the county recorder, and the county sheriff. Uh, again, um, the pay chart that's used for all of the appointed county employees uh, was used as a guide or handrail, as I referred to, uh, when when coming up with this recommendation to the county board. Um, what's listed here is the county attorney's annual salary of 155,72960, the recorder of 83,75. And 20 cents, and the county sheriff of 149, 676, and 80 cents. For the county attorney and the county sheriff, based on their uh, tenure, um, they were are receiving a 3% uh, increase from last year, consistent with the 3% COLA that the rest of the staff received. And the county recorder, uh, based on her tenure, would receive uh, a 7% increase, which would be consistent with a step increase of 4% and a 3% COLA increase. Again, similar to that of other staff in the grade of 32. We'll be doing these, each of these separately, and this will be a uh, roll call vote, and we're going to start with the annual salary of uh, our county attorney. I ask for a motion for more discussion. So moved. I have a motion. I need a second. Second. Any more discussion on that one? I'll ask one more time. Any more discussion? If not, this is a roll call vote. I'll start with Commissioner Casper. Aye. Lane. Aye. Lemire. Aye. Zelensky. Aye. Myself. Goodbye. Motion carries. 
He is now calling recorder. Uh, again, this will be a roll call vote. Make motion to approve, Mr. Chair. Uh, so a second. second. Any more discussion? Not I'll start out with a roll call vote. Commissioner Blaine. Aye. Commissioner Lemire. Aye. Commissioner Zelensky. Aye. Casper. Aye. Myself is aye. Motion passes. Uh, the final one is the county sheriff, and I'll ask for a motion in a second. So moved. I have a motion. I need a second. I second that. Any more discussion? If not, I'll ask for a roll call. Commissioner Lemire. Aye. Commissioner Zelensky. Aye. Casper. Aye. Blaine. Aye. Myself is aye. Motion carries. All right. Looks like we have all the resolution appointments done at this time. Am I correct? You are correct, Mr. Chair. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, for that. Now we'll move on to the approval of consent agenda. This will also be a roll call vote. Is there any, um, again, we did add the uh, annual establishment license for the Lucky Saloon. Was there anybody request to have any of these removed at this time? Make motion to approve, Mr. Chair. All right, I have a motion to approve the consent agenda. I need a second. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'll second that, but I do have a question. Please. Uh, uh, with the addition of uh, of the resolution for uh, of the uh, establishment uh, for Lucky Saloon, is that because of timing that this that this has arrived now at the first of the year, or is is there a change of ownership that that we need to have noted, Mr. Chair? That's uh, go ahead, Matt. Um, this is a, a timing piece with this establishment and filing the appropriate documentation with Health and Human Services and, and becoming um, eligible to receive that license. As you recall, the last board meeting um, last week, we, we had about four pages of these across the county, um, but Lucky Saloon uh, was not included as they had not uh, completed the process. Very good. Thank All you. Right. Thank you for that. Any more discussion? If not, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Chair. Go ahead. Doesn't this need to be a roll call vote with the consent oh. agenda? Oh, yes, you're correct. I'm sorry. I just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. I did mention yes, roll call and then, I, and then someone sidetracked. Mm. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right. Commissioner Lemire. Aye. Commissioner Blaine. Aye. Casper. Aye. Zlinski. Aye. Myself is I. Motion carries. All right. We got through that one. Legal printing. Yes, Mr. Chair. So in the packet, um, the resolution has a couple of blanks. Um, we had to put out the legal notice to request bids for the printing of our um, of our county minutes and our county transactions. Uh, we had one agency reply with a bid, and I'll open it now in front of the county board. That agency was the Morrison County Record. Uh, so there is no competition with the record on that bid. And date of December 2023, bids for publishing local government legal items in 2024. Their line rate is $1 per line, and their display ad rate is $8.50 per column inch. That is an increase of one cent per line rate. Last year was 99 cents, and the display ad rate was 831. So that looks like a 19 cent increase per column inch. And again, our only um, bid came from the Morrison County record. So uh, we would add in the resolution that the Morrison County record uh, be hereby designated by the County Board of Commissioners in the County of Morrison, state of Minnesota, as the newspaper in which the official proceedings of said board, the financial statements, and the list of real estate remaining delinquent for the county after said shall be published and that the Morrison County record be designated for all legal printing for the county for the year of 2024. Mr. Chair, I'd, Mr. Chair, I'd make a motion to approve of resolution number 2024. I need a second. I'd second it. Any more discussion? Mr. Chair. Go ahead, Mr. Zelensky. I believe I know the answer to this, but just for the sake of argument. We have to have a legal agency, a legal print agency printing our minutes, our stuff from the county, that's state law. We simply can't put it on an internet site or an internet site to, to pass that over. I, again, I believe I know the answer to that, but I'm just bringing that up. I would put that to our administrator. That's, that thanks, Mr. Chair. That is correct at this time. 
Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, thank you for that, Commissioner Grinsky. This will be a roll call vote, so I have a uh, motion and a second. Commissioner Casper. Aye. Blaine. Aye. Lemire. Aye. Zelensky. Aye. Myself is aye. Motion carries. Okay, moving right along. It looks like Tony is here. Please come and sit up here and tell us what you got and in your name, please. For the record. Good morning, Mr. Chair. Good morning, Board. Good morning, Good morning, Tony. Tony. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. I have a handful of items. Uh, our first two are clerical items for our 2023 contracts. So if we'll look at uh, Public Works uh, request for board action number one, requesting authorization to uh, get the final payment of our contract number 305. And this is to Red Stone Construction. This was for the bridge replacement project on our cut saw six over the Swan River in Sylvieski, Minnesota. This project wrapped up this fall. And uh, <clears throat> overall, the uh, the project came in underneath our actual bid estimate and their uh, their bid. So we came in at about 95 to shy 96 percent of the overall contract value. So that was certified in worth of one million. $296,423.11, and our actual bid was uh, just over uh, $1.3 million. So the project went overall very well. We're in the just the, the final stages of filing out the paperwork, and then this spring we'll be moving our erosion control EMPs after uh, certain establishment. So I request a, a resolution. Gentlemen, make a motion to approve, Mr. Chair. I have a second. motion. I need a second. I'll oh, second that discussion. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd just, like to, uh, I, I'd just like to note that um, uh, uh, this project uh, completed now in my district is one that uh, um, is very well appreciated by the people of, uh, of, uh, of the area, the people of the county, and, and certainly the residents of Sobieski. Um, uh, if you haven't been out there, drove around there. This has been a tremendous improvement, um, uh, especially to um, that uh, that interchange there at uh, County Road Six and and the Cable Road there. Um, the adjustment to how that uh, comes in, I think, provides a greater safety there. But uh, this is a this is a very good looking um, completion. Uh, project over there on the on the river, and I I uh, applaud our county engineer not only on the work by his staff and uh, and the contractors, um, but also the uh, interaction with uh, uh, the officials from uh, the, the uh, city of Sobieski, and uh, and certainly with myself in that in response to uh, uh, the residents of. Of Morrison County, I think, it, it, it plus the fact that this thing ends up coming in under budget on a on a. This is a big project, so I I, uh, I think there's a there's a lot of things to be um, happy about um, with this project. All right, any more discussion, gentlemen? Again, I have a motion and a second for again. This is resolution uh, 2024, correct? And so this will be a roll call. Commissioner Zelensky. Aye. Casper. Aye. Blaine. Aye. Premier. Aye. Myself is I. Thank you. Mr. Chair, our second item is another uh, final payment certificate. I'm asking, requesting the authorization of resolution for certificate of final payment on contract number 306 to Anderson Brothers Construction. This was our CASA 1 project that went from Randall up to CASA 5. It was a uh, pavement rehab, did a reclaim, and then we also added uh, sinus soil. Edge, edge uh, striping on that project, a little safety improvement. This project also came in underneath budget, uh, about 98, almost 99% of the total contract value, with work certifying at $2,797,243.48. So just underneath our, our actual bid, our, our bid amount for that contract. Overall, it, it was a very nice project, um, a very good improvement for that section of the road along this all. Gentlemen, so, Mr. Chair, I have a motion from Commissioner Zelensky. Second. I have a second from Commissioner Lemire. Any more discussion? This is for contract number 306. Again, roll call vote. Commissioner uh, 
Yes, for, yeah, Mr. Chair, I was just going to ask Tony, are you pleased you've had a chance to drive that road and you're pleased with the work that's been done? Mr. Chair, overall, uh, the work that's been done, we're pretty happy with. There, there are a couple items that we had to address. Mm -hmm. um, so the contractor did receive some penalties and those were reflected in their final certificate of payment. Um, so we had a couple of ride issues that had come in and, and a little bit of grinding. But overall, it, it's a, a massive improvement from what was there. So we're mm -hmm. very happy with that. Any more discussion? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. If not, again, this is a motion for contract number 307, 306. Excuse me. This is a roll call vote. Commissioner Blaine. Aye. Commissioner Lemaire. Aye. Casper. Aye. Zlinski. Aye. Myself as I. Motion carries. All right, Mr. Chair. Our uh, our next item of business is to review the abstract for saw one which is saw one bridge over the swan. So this would be contract number 312. This is our first bid letting of the year. It happened on December 20th. Um, so you can see the location there, just uh, west of Sobieski, uh, south of 12, again, crossing the Swan River, a very similar to the Casa 6 project that was completed in 2023. We had a good turnout for this project with uh, six different bidders, Redstone Construction, RR Schrader, Structural Specialties, Corby Contracting, Kramer North America, and Zenith Tech. The engineer's estimate on this project was $1 million $66,927. And our low bidder came in just underneath that at a uh, half percent under. So our low bidder was Redstone Construction. Their bid came in at $1,060,943.50. So just underneath our, our engineer's estimate. If you look at those, those <coughs> bids, you know, they're all very tight. Uh, bidders two, three, and four were all within almost $100,000 of each other. You know, so what that does, it tells us that we have a, a pretty clean plan set there. Uh, all our contractors are, are looking at these plans and they're, they're seeing the same kind of items. That just gives us a lot of confidence going into the building a structure that hopefully won't have very many overruns. All right, I'll ask for a motion for the resolution on uh, Redstone construction to award them this contract, the 312. I will make that motion, Mr. Chair. Second. Any more discussion? Mr. Chair, I have a question. Mr. Zinski. I would I would ask, what are we actually replacing? And when I say, what are we replacing? I realize what we're replacing, but what's kind of the structure is that? So that's a, currently a timber structure. That's what I was thinking. And it's a, it comes in at a unique angle. So this will be a, a pretty big improvement. It'll be a wider, a wider uh, single span bridge is what this will be. Thank you. That's exactly what I was looking for. Any more discussion? I have a question. My question is Redstone Construction. How do we know they're a good company? Well, we've worked with Redstone in the past. Um, so Redstone actually built our Casa 6 project this past year in 2023. But outside of that, they're a, a reputable contractor out of Moore, Minnesota. They do bridges all over the state and sometimes the Dakotas. Um, for these kind of projects, you know, it's an open bid. So if you meet the bidding qualifications, you know, with your bid bond and uh, your subcontractor, stuff like that, then you're free to, to bid on this. Um, so when you look at that list of six, you know, there's a few that we've never worked with, but they, they meet those requirements to place that bid in. And in, in this case, we just ended up with a contractor that we're familiar with. Appreciate that explanation. Commissioner Blaine. Uh, thank you, Commissioner uh, uh, Witcher. Uh, Tony, um, will this um, uh, structure that replaces this, uh, this uh, wooden bridge there um, look similar, be relatively identical to the one that Redstone did on on six, just a few miles down the down the river. Mr. Chair, uh, yes, this is almost an identical structure, very similar construction. So it's a, a simple span. So it has a button on each side and then a concrete deck put over the top. Um, obviously, a little bit wider than the current structure that's on um, one now. So that'll be a, a big improvement. Um, but there will be no, you know, other than the widening of the, the road will get widened there where where it crosses the bridge. But um, there will be no change to Dove Road other than that. Mr. Chair, no, this intersection is a little different than Casa 6. Casa 6 came in at a pretty heavy skew. Yeah. Um, this one does not. So there will be a lot less grading work for this project. And, and one final question. Um, uh, if I may, Mr. Chair, uh, Tony, um, so, so now that this uh, bid has been awarded, 
what would we look at for timing of of uh, this uh, this project to take place? Mr. Chair, so the, the Swan River does have some restrictions, so we'll actually be anticipating a July start on this project. That's similar to how we handled Kassas 6. Um, so we'll be looking at July of 2024, hopefully completing in October of 2024. Okay. Mr. Zelensky. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Tony, I'm curious and I'm not looking for a date exactly, but approximately how old is that wooden structure? Uh, Mr. Chair, I'm not sure that on top of my head. Um, my guess would be probably in the 50s or 60s. Yeah. That's kind of our, our standard. Okay. Um, but I do not know that. Right that's now. that's all I was looking for was just the rough. Very good. All right, thank you. Commissioner Casper. Yes, Mr. Chair, thank you. Tony, question. You said there's some restrictions. The start wouldn't be till July. Can you tell us what those restrictions are? Uh, Mr. Chair, you, those are environmental restrictions on, on the stream. So there's different protected species that, that run through different rivers. I believe this one's protected for the, the shiners, the mm -hmm. mineral. Um, but you know, if the contractor does want to try to accelerate their construction, we do provide them an opportunity to talk with the DNR mm -hmm. and potentially have uh, have it lifted. I mean, we'll start for later. Okay, thank you, John. Any more discussion? What plus it's a good sucker fishing. <laughs> All right. And it's in your district too. That's another good news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there will be, and and there will be a there will be a detour um, there. That's a that that is a very well traveled road. That's a very well traveled bridge. Um, this will this will uh, this will move some traffic around for three four months here in this late summer fall. Mr. Chair, uh, go ahead. Um, yeah, it, it's very good that we're getting this bridge completed here in 2024. In 2025, MnDOT's going to be working on 238. So yeah. we're anticipating seeing higher traffic volumes next year. So it'll be nice to have this structure replaced and uh, a higher uh, lower rating for the traveling public. All right. Any more discussion? Not this will be a roll call vote. Well, Commissioner LaMere. Aye. Linsky. Aye. Casper. Aye. Blaine. Aye. Myself and, and I. Motion carries. Mr. Chair, our final item here is a request to approve resolution to execute an agreement authorizing the use of local bridge replacement program grant funds for our Kassab One Bridge. Uh, what this is, is we enter into an agreement with the state of Minnesota. We received some funding to help uh, replace this structure after it uh, reached the uh, insufficient insufficiency rating where it uh, became eligible for these kind of funds. So requesting uh, Requesting to enter into the agreement to utilize about three hundred ninety thousand one hundred or seven hundred fourteen dollars and fifty cents uh, of state of Minnesota funds to to help build the replace this bridge on Casano. All right, gentlemen, I'll ask for a motion. Don't move, Mr. Chair. We need a second. second. We got a second. Any more discussion? This will be a roll call vote. No more discussion. Commissioner Blaine. Aye. Zelensky. Aye. Casper. Aye. Lemire. Aye. Myself is an aye. Motion carried. Mr. Chair, that's all I have. Unless there's any other questions. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Blaine. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, everyone. Happy New Year. Yep. Thank you. Happy New Year. Okay. Got public works. Administrator's report. Have a great day, Tony. Thank you. Yeah. It's, Mr. Chair, I have nothing to offer the board this morning, depending on any questions or requests of me. Gentlemen, you have anything for administrators this time? Not, we'll be moving on to committee report. And what day are we looking at? Days, I should say. We schedule. Schedule, yep. January 14th through January 27th. All right. You know what? I'm going to give our honor way down in hole number five there, Commissioner Zelensky. How's that? If that's okay. Excellent. Are you ready to go? Sure. All right. Starting for me on the 16th, 8 30 in the morning, we'll have a planning meeting here in the boardroom. On the 17th at five o'clock in the afternoon, we've got a hands fault meeting, or I've got a hands fault meeting, which is virtual. I've also got scheduled at 3.30 a State Emergency Communications Board Executive Committee meeting that I may be participating in. Um, as you all know, I've been the vice chair 
of the State Emergency Communications Board. And I may sit in on this one just because. But after that, I probably will not be sitting in on any of those executive committee meetings. On the 18th, 10 o'clock in the morning, I have a Central Minnesota Owners and Operators meeting, which is virtual. On the 19th at 4.30 in the afternoon, there's a holiday gathering at Chow time. Chow time. Chow time. Chow time. Thank you. On the 22nd at 10 o'clock in the morning, I have a State Emergency Communication Board planning meeting that's held in the city of St. Cloud, 10 o'clock in the morning. On the 23rd at 9 o'clock in the morning, we have a county board meeting. On the 25th, 12.30 in the afternoon, I have a State Emergency Communications Board meeting. Uh, the 25th at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I sit on this, as you know, I sit on the Public Safety Communications Conference Advisory Group, um, and that'll be held at 3 o'clock. That'll be virtual. And Mr. Chair, that is all I have. Thank you. Commissioner Casper. Yeah, the only one I have different there is on the 25th, that Thursday, I have the Rum River watershed at 4.30 in Moaca. And you have your Great River Regional Library meeting schedule? I should probably put that in there. That would be the potentially the 16th, is that correct? Yes. Okay, thank you. Commissioner Blaine. On uh, Thursday, January 18th at 7 p.m., the Egg Society will meet um, here in the courthouse. Um, and the following Thursday, the 25th, uh, the Region 5 Commission uh, Board uh, meets at 6 p.m. in Staples. All right, Commissioner Lemaire. The 18th. Long Prairie One Watershed One Plan Policy Committee, nine o'clock, Todd County Courthouse. And Matt, I have safety committee meeting, but is that correct? It no. is not. Okay. Then that's all I got. All right. And for myself, there's any more additions I have is TCC on the 25th at 5 30. And then I have soil and water on the 26th at 8 o'clock. That'll do it for me. This Excuse me, is there a PCBOA meeting in this middle no, span? Not so far. It's everything's been canceled. Up yeah, for Jan so nothing in January. So the 12th was our first one coming up, correct? For planning committee. There was no one attending that right. one. So I think we have, uh, I have not received anything. I don't know if there is anything else to come up. We're talking planning commission board of adjustment. Yeah, yeah for January. Right. Oh, so, yeah. Right. There is not one on the ninth, right? Nothing, Mr. Chair. The nothing until the 29th. Uh, that will be our. That will be following on our schedules. Thank you for that. Okay. So that would be from the 29th to whatever day. 30th. 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 would be that Tuesday. Uh, but I, Mr. Chair, if I may, Go ahead. Uh, three items, gentlemen, just as to circle back on. One is uh, just a, a notice that. Um, um, the 15th is, is, is a recognized uh, holiday. The government center uh, services uh, will be closed, except, of course, for our 24 7 operations. Um, the second item is um, on Thursday of that week at uh, 5 p.m., our VSO is hosting a veteran event here in the uh, boardroom. Um, it's an educational event for all veterans uh, of the county. I know she's been advertising hard for it. And the last item, uh, just again to circle back, it was mentioned during during the update, but on the 19th there, I'm putting it up on the slide, it is our employee uh, holiday gathering, and, and it's uh, considered an open house from 4.30 to 8.30 at chow time. Uh, last year, if you recall, we, had, we, we went to the ballroom in Piers. Uh, we had um, the event there. And then the year before we had done a breakfast here in the boardroom. So again, the staff has elected to go off site and, and take an evening um, for that open house. So I hope that you were invited and heard of it, but um, but there'll be appetizers uh, available, but it'll be on the 19th from 430 to 830. And if I may, Tabitha, could you shoot that out to everyone just to give us all a reminder? Yeah. Anything else? Show time is next. Yeah, right. theater. New, new restaurant next to the theater and 
in that. Oh, well, so my my I guess my question then is is um is were the were the employees able to reserve the whole restaurant for that evening order, <laughs> or is that in the in the uh, in the uh, they have kind of a separate room in the back? Mr. Chair, and and. and Hearing from the committee and and visiting Chow Time, they they kind of have two separate areas. Uh, one is a long seating area, I would call it to the north, and then on the south side, I think that can be sectioned off. And I believe that is the area that is reserved for us, um, if I recall properly. And it's and it's just kind of separate. It'll be standing and and mingling and and just kind of an open open house area there. And the commissioners are are welcome to that. You know? Absolutely. You know that. There's a fee. Well, and yeah, $5 is what they're asking for, and Tabitha will send that out as well. They wanted it by the 29th, but I, if if I failed to get you that, I'm sure we can make an exception. But um, uh, yeah, $5, and then, then there's an open bar uh, as well, but there's appetizers. And then I guess I might as well say, since I'm talking about money, our uh, Morrison County Employee Association um, donated $2,200, I believe, to that event to help offset the cost. Uh, from the funds that they've raised throughout the year. So employees uh, giving back to employees, it's a pretty neat event. Any more discussion on that? If not, gentlemen, I will motion to adjourn at 941. <laughs>